violence and other kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's a Black Gen Z mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. And the other breaking news where police say six people were shot at a Southeast Atlanta park. Channel 2's Veronica Griffin live at Rosa Bernie Park where police are still investigating tonight. Veronica, police say a six-year-old is among those hurt there. That's right, and last check, the six-year-old is in critical condition. Police tell us this is a very fluid investigation. In fact, you can see officers are still on the scene out here. Six victims total centered around a baseball game that got heated enough that shots were fired. Wow. <clears throat> and we just saw a mass shooting. We just saw a mass shooting in, um, what was that, Inglewood? over the baseball game slash car show that leaked into the car show. I mean, they are not letting up. <laughs> they are not letting up. Late into Sunday evening, police K-9 could see, be seen on the job with Atlanta police scoping out the scene of a deadly shooting. Now, detectives say tempers flare during a softball or baseball game near the Dunbar Rec Center in southwest Atlanta. A man is in his 30s, died. 50 others, five others, I'm sorry, were injured, including a six-year-old. Police say there were a lot of people here at the time making it difficult for detectives to figure out the details of just how the injured are tied to this shooting. Mm. And as we've said countless times, we're just asking uh, the citizens just to uh, find a way to resolve conflict without weapons. <laughs> so you're begging the super gremlins not to get on demon time. Seems like a pretty productive strategy for the police. And, you know, I don't blame them. Their, their hands are tied. And they're under understaffed, definitely. A lot of people resigned when Keisha Lance Bottoms was in office. And I think their, their homicide department has very few investigators and a lot of young investigators. So Atlanta police is definitely understaffed. But at the end of the day, this should not be going on. Um, a shooting in a public park. Uh, it, it makes no sense. A lot of these pickup baseball or yeah, baseball games, softball games, whatever. You know, I've gone to some. They're a lot of fun, but a lot of dudes talk way too much ish. Emotions get high and people getting struck out. And then it turns into a shootout. Uh, we're just asking people to, you know, step away. We're asking people just to let bygones be bygones. Uh, but any time that we have any tragedy like this, uh, any death is a tragedy. And that's the thing. Asking Super Gremlins to let bygones be bygones is uh, <laughs> it's kind of difficult to do. Now, we're told that the other victims are stable. Police are asking anyone with information to give them a call. Reporting live in Southwest Atlanta, Veronica Griffin, WSB Tonight. Who would think that a baseball game could lead to something so tragic? Thank you, Veronica. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass, where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness. So make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button, like the video, hell, share the video, and make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets. I'm Jen Quavius Jackson, here live, reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, BGZM News 17. Detectives in story here, Atlanta police need help identifying a suspect wanted for killing two adults and shooting four others, including a six-year-old child. Detectives wow. released 
This image of the gunman running away from the scene on Sunday. And Channel 2, Steve Gelbach is live right now, Grady Memorial Hospital in downtown Atlanta. Steve, good morning to you. The little girl survived. Brad, she is still here at the hospital. Last check in critical condition. Uh, we do know that two others were rushed here also uh, to the hospital, and sadly, they did not survive. Mm. Take a good look at the suspect. Police think it's responsible for opening fire during what was supposed to be a friendly neighborhood baseball game at Rosa L. Bernie Park in southwest Atlanta. In wow, and I mean... The pressure is going to get on him. I, I, he's definitely going to be found very soon. But boy, <laughs> I mean, it's just like, what are you doing? At least he at least he pulled his pants up, right? During what was supposed to be a friendly neighborhood baseball game at Rosa L. Bernie Park in southwest Atlanta. Innocent victims were shot, and that's a problem. Kimberly Dukes is friends with one of the victims, 31-year-old Rashad Rogers. 33-year-old April Sparks was also shot and killed, and four others injured, including a six-year-old girl. And police say an argument around 7 Sunday night escalated to gunfire. Investigators released this photo of a young man running from the park with a gun in his right hand and now need to identify this suspect. Kimberly wasn't there at the time of the shooting, but told us about Rogers, about the man and father taken too soon. So mm. I know he had four kids, um, and I know that he's a father, and his kids are going to miss him. So we want to make sure that this don't happen in the city of Atlanta to no other father or child. Mm. And we're still working to get an update. Who do you think she voted for? On the condition of that young victim still here at the hospital. Now, anyone with information on this shooting or can help identify that suspect seen in those photos asked to call APD. Homicide detectives or crime stoppers could be eligible for a reward and remain anonymous. Uh, Steve, the idea that a child's in critical condition and lives were lost over something that happened at a baseball game is heartbreaking. Thank you very much. Atlanta police have released a person of interest in a park shooting that left two people dead and four others hurt, including a six year old girl. You can see that person of interest running with what appears to be a gun in his hand. The deadly shooting happened during a softball game at Rosa Bernie Park. Fox News Anjali Proctor has the latest on the search for that sh she go shooter. This shooting in what should be a safe, family-friendly environment here in this Southwest Atlanta Park has gotten a lot of people's attention, including a Fulton County Commissioner who says the community must come together to solve this case. We should not be in that, what is it, wild, wild west mentality that if something kicks off, we're going to take a life? No. Well, I mean, that is the mentality of the community. <laughs> That is the mentality of the community. I, I don't. Are you just now waking up to this? <laughs> it, it makes no sense. Now they're trying to act clueless. Now they're trying to act dumb. This is the norm. This is that that super gremlin there. He's the face of mass shootings in America. Facts. Fulton County Commissioner Khadija Abdul Rahman is questioning the mentality of many in our community who quickly turn to guns to solve conflict. This past weekend, six people were shot after an argument over a softball game at Rosa Bernie Park. Two of those people died and six-year-old Serenity was shot multiple times, according to her family. Wow. Our mentality is one of just carrying a gun, waiting for something to happen, as opposed to making sure. Yep. You know what I call that? Wish a super gremlin would time, okay? I've been saying this. A lot of dudes move around on some, I wish it, you, I wish it would, you know what I mean? That's how they moving. They want something to pop off to have a reason to catch a body. They call that a free body. Now, obviously, this super gremlin is going to get caught. But if they didn't have cameras in that park, that would have been a free body and nobody would have snitched. Guaranteed. Sure that we teach people to value life. Atlanta police have released this photograph of a person of interest who appears to be carrying a gun. They, like Commissioner Abdul Rahman, believe the community needs to start talking. 
if you see something, you know something, you need to say something. That baby in the hospital that's fighting for their life, we need individuals to come forward and say, who did this? You become part of the problem or you become part of the solution. Dadar, mother of three, April Sparks, and mm. father of four, Rashid Rogers. And we cannot forget six-year-old Serenity, three other people were injured. Wow. We have to catch the children. We have to catch the mindset before it comes to the park. Too late. <clears throat> Too late. They mamas, single mothers, they raising their kids with no regard. Um, <clears throat> they disrespectful, they loud. You know, they talking crap to authorities. And then those same sisters who are raising these super gremlins are voting for the left, defunding the police, implementing all of these weird social experiment think tanks. And you get the result of lawlessness. <clears throat> okay. And very emotional young men. <clears throat> so... I don't think they're willing to have that conversation. A lot of these sisters, and I'm not saying she doesn't care, but what I am saying is, where you been? This has been a thing. It's been an issue. And it's only going to continue unless there is a extreme correction. The super gremlins are on demon time. We have to show that there are other ways to resolve issues than picking up a gun. Atlanta police have posted a $2,000 Crime Stoppers reward for anyone who can lead them to the shooter. In Southwest Atlanta, Angelique Proctor, Fox 5 News.